So I might, one all in the test series, one all in the 2020 series, and now two all in the uh, ODIs. See how nice would it be if we came away with the uh, series victory in these ODIs? Oh, look, it'd be great. I mean, we've um, you know competed in all three series. Uh, obviously, coming over here is you know huge underdogs in these conditions against a strong Pakistan side. So, um, you know, to give ourselves a chance going into the last game is exciting. Absolutely, and uh, a really good comeback after a, a pretty disappointing third ODI. Um, what changed for you guys? Oh, look, it's been an even series throughout, so I think you know, both sides have found out that if you don't front up, um, you get knocked over pretty quickly. And, you know, we were we were poor in the third third match um, with the ball. You know, we showed a lack of experience with the ball, and I think, you know, from time to time that's going to happen um, with the group that we've got. But we're, they're also incredibly talented, and I think we saw a, a slightly different side last night, albeit not perfect with the ball, but certainly a big improvement. Um, and with the bat, you know, we did what we've done the last 12 months in terms of the, the top orders set the platform and, and then we've been able to cash in at the back end. So to get a score of 300 on that surface was, you know, really pleasing. Kane scoring a century while he's a uh, standing captain, um, really leading from the front. Oh, look, he's had a great 12 months. Um, I think he scored the most international runs by a New Zealander um, and he's done it with some, some real class. And last night, once again, in, in quite foreign conditions, um, he showed, you know, how clever he is, and then at the end, how destructive he can be as well. So, um, yeah, fine innings. And uh, Adam Milne, obviously, a great performance from him last night. He's just going from strength to strength at the moment. Yeah, he is. He's growing in confidence. He's at some stage he's going to get a bag of wickets and and surprise someone. He's bowling um, a lot of you know wicket taking deliveries and, and just not quite able to pick up the wickets that I think he deserves. And I think last night we showed um, that extra pace. Um, you know, was the difference in the end. Absolutely, and uh, heading into the fifth ODI tomorrow, um, what's the key for you guys? Oh, key for us with the batters once again seeing that platform up front um, and with the ball is, you know, taking early wickets is important for us over here but also keeping our composure under pressure and yeah, like I said, we did that pretty well yesterday but there's certainly an area we can still improve on. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to heading back home and getting into the Sri Lankan series. Yeah, we are. I think everyone's keen to just um, get home, meet the family again for a day or so and then um, get to Hagley for a really exciting time, you know, uh, Boxing Day test matches. The guys are, have been talking about it for a long time, so they're you know very much looking forward to it. And playing Christchurch, uh, playing Test cricket at Christchurch again, um, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it has been a long time, and there's a lot of guys have got an affinity with Christchurch. Um, you know, whether they've been brought up there or they play there now. Um, but no, look, it's going to be an exciting time. I understand there's a lot of tickets already been sold, and um, you know, hopefully it's going to be a great Test match. Absolutely. Thanks very much for your time. Pleasure.